The keystone sampler in the closed position shall be inserted into the powder through a point 70% of the distance from the center of the cross section to the periphery and straight down to the bottom of the container. The sampler is then twisted to the open position to allow powder to flow into the sampler tube. When the tube is filled, the sampler is once again twisted to the closed position. The sampler is then removed from the container Positioned over a large piece of paper to collect its contents, and the handle is twisted to the open position so the contents are emptied. Note that the Keystone Sampler keeps the samples segregated along its length. If desired, Individual increments can be tested to determine variations at the different depths in the container. For this test, all of the increments were combined and transferred into a suitable container. When a suitable number of samples have been taken in this manner, they shall be blended for 10 to 15 revolutions to obtain a composite sample. The composite sample shall be passed through a sample splitter to obtain the test samples. The test portion shall be obtained from the test sample by quartering or by the use of a microsample splitter as shown here.